the BBC has been blasted over its totally impartial response to Priti Patel's plan to send migrants to Rwanda. In a joint statement, the Home Secretary and Rwandan Foreign Minister Vincent Baruta have hit back at critics of the scheme saying, we are taking bold and innovative steps and it's surprising that those institutions that criticize the plans fail to offer their own solutions. They added that allowing the current humanitarian crisis to continue is no longer an option. However, deputy leader of the Reclaim Party, Martin Daubney has accused the BBC of being biased because they don't like the proposal, over the picture used to accompany the article. Mr. Daubney said, picture selection is key, and this picture of Pretty Patel has specifically been selected by the totally impartial BBC because they don't like the government's Rwanda proposal. They don't even try to hide their bias, in the name of triggering clicks. Others agreed with the former MEP for West Midlands. At Benabong Gop 3 fan replied, spot on I noticed it too. They do the same with Boris, with his hand on his head nearly all the time. A Tijinki one said, is it even possible to find one of her not smirking? It is what Shush is known for. The scheme has been met with a host of criticism, including from the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby who deemed the plans the opposite of the nature of God who himself took responsibility for our failures. He accused the UK of subcontracting out our responsibilities by sending migrants thousands of miles away. Under the plans, Priti Patel has pledged to send migrants who arrive in the UK to Rwanda. The deal is expected to be finalised on Thursday for a trial scheme that would see those who come to the UK illegally flown to the African country to have their asylum claims processed. An initial £120 million is expected to be given to the Rwandan government for the trial scheme. Following heavy criticism, Ms Patel even challenged her opponents to come up with a better scheme to tackle illegal migrant crossings. 